Back now with the change in the air, the first airline to require all passengers to wear a mask. And the question, why aren't all of them? Here's Tom Costello. While airlines report a 95% drop in passenger levels, the middle seat very often open. Some flights do have passengers going with and without masks. The president today suggested boarding procedures could soon change. We're also uh, setting up uh, a system where we do some testing and we're working with the airlines on that. Testing, testing on the plane, getting on the planes. While airlines are deep cleaning their planes, most, not all, require crew members to wear face masks. JetBlue today said it will require passengers to wear masks starting Monday. American says it's considering it. Delta and United recommend passenger masks but don't require them. Southwest doesn't require them of passengers or crew. Several airlines tell NBC News they don't think they can legally require passengers to wear masks, though some aviation attorneys say airlines could easily change their own rules to make it a requirement. Canada already does. At what point does my health and safety play a role in this too so that I can come home from an airplane and quarantine for a bit so I feel safe to go back out. Meanwhile, the nation's hotels are also promising changes. Fewer buffets, more grab and go meals, and changes at check-in. It will be a greater use of digital check-ins so that you use your phone to open your door and you can bypass the front desk. Medical travel experts say every airline, every hotel will have to change. They have to learn it's more than just industrial hygienic cleaning protocols and procedures. It's all about continuing to practice social distancing, universal precautions. Hilton and Airbnb also announcing new cleaning policies to certify that rooms, restaurants and gyms are safe, hoping to provide peace of mind to travel wary customers. Lester. Tom Costello tonight. Thank you.